It's the Munez Memorial Stakes presented by Horse Racing Nation. I'm Ed DeRosa, and I will be live at Fairgrounds on Saturday for the Munez Memorial presented by Horse Racing Nation, hopefully cashing some tickets. Hopefully I'll help you do the same. Let's take a look at this nine pack before we get to my pick. Chad Brown standing tall. He's got the Michael Jordan, the LeBron James down inside. 2-3-23, Sacred Life and Devamani, a pair of French breads from the very potent Chad Brown stable. If there were head-to-head -head wagering on his two entrants, uncoupled as they are, I would absolutely take the deuce. I understand why Sacred Life is favored. 2-1, to one, maybe a little light for me, which is why I'm looking elsewhere on top. But Devamani is the one I will absolutely be trying to beat if that one wins. I will be out of everything and probably going to try to beat that one out of the number completely for those playing vertically. But Sacred Life, I get it, worthy favorite, but we're going to go to the outside, and that is number nine, Santine, the top pick here. Santine was the three horse in this race. Uh, the fairground stakes did not get to Cavalry Charge. Cavalry Charge on the lead right now. Santine still not really in the frame. Had to spin out wide uh, and was one of few getting to the leader, then ended up kind of between horses. Uh, some of you may be shocked that I'm showing a replay to buttress my opinion here. Not a big replay watcher, uh, but when I saw the chart comment that this one was six wide, that actually is a little deceiving because Santine, who now is just closing between horses uh, to stay fourth, never actually passed anyone. Uh, I did think the six wide comment was a little deceiving because really didn't spin out that wide until the turn for home, but did end up between horses, never really got a clear run until straightened out. And I'm expecting with this outside post, maybe still loses a little bit of ground here in the Munez presented by Horse Racing Nation. But I do think we'll have a clearer run throughout the race. And is my pick on top, I think will be the right price because of the two chads. The way I'm betting this though is number nine to win. And I will play a two nine exact a leap day for those born on February 29th. But it's the nine on top for me, Santine in the Munez presented by Horse Racing Nation. Salutations, friends. I'm Matthew DeSantis, and you can find me on Twitter talking horse racing and giving out picks at the handle at Fail to Menace. Now, let's talk about a big Saturday at the fairgrounds and specifically the Grade 2 Muniz Memorial Classic Stakes presented by Horse Racing Nation, which is one and an eighth miles on turf with three heavy favorites Sacred Life, Devamani, and Santon. The first two are trained by Chad Brown, and let me tell you something typically, betting against Brown on turf is a fool's errand especially after the weekend he just had at Tampa, where he ran 1-2 in multiple turf stakes races. Now, the pace of this race should set up perfectly for the all three favors, who each have a tremendous late turn of foot, as there should be plenty of early speed in the form of Cavalry Charge, 40 Under, and two Emmys, all of whom want to get to the lead and will set presumably a pretty hot pace for the leaders to run into. While both brown horses are impressive, if you look inside the numbers a little bit, Sacred Life is only one for his last nine winning graded stakes races. Always very competitive, always finishing in the money, but reminds me a little bit of Midnight Bourbon on grass. Meanwhile, I like Devamani a little bit more as he's running his second race since coming back from an eight-month layoff. His jockey, Joel Rosario, is a wizard on the turf, but I do wonder if his age of eight years old is finally starting to catch up with him a bit. Therefore, I'm going to go with the young, up-and-coming horse, Santon, at 7-2, whose speed figures keep improving, and he's done it at multiple tracks. He's only run four times in his career, but he already has a second place at a grade one, and last time out finished fourth by a neck in a virtual four-way dead heat after a very troubled trip. I'll always lean towards picking ascending horses that have yet to run their best race, as opposed to horses that have already run their best in these types of spots. So for that reason... I'll pick the Brendan Walsh trained and Tyler Gaffleone ridden Santon at 7-2 to win the Grade 2 Muniz Memorial Classic Stakes presented by Horse Racing Nation. Good luck. The Muniz Memorial Classic Stakes presented by Horse Racing Nation goes as race number 10 on Fairgrounds. 12 race Louisiana Derby card, a star-studded card at that. And there's been some star winners of this race in recent memory. 2019 Horse of the Year Bricks and Mortar won this race back then. Factor this for Brad Cox in 2020. And then last year, Colonel Liam shipped in for trainer Todd Pletcher to get the job done. Chad Brown ships in two of the likely favorites in this one, but I'm going to take a chance against 
both of them in Devamani and Sacred Life. Certainly capable here, but I think they may get a little bit over bet. I'll be spreading a little bit against them in the all stakes pick five sequence. But in terms of a top selection, let's take a chance here with number seven, another mystery who's been freshened up after a head dead heat victory in a three horse blanket finish in the Connolly at Sam Houston. Now that was a mile and a half. So he cuts back to the mile and an eighth distance in here, but has won two of seven over this race course. And I think the pace will be a little hotter than maybe it looks on paper. There's no doubt that I would two Emmys is going to put a little more pressure on cavalry charge than he did last time out in the fairgrounds in a race that cavalry charge just held on to win at a big price. So I think maybe a little bit more of a favorable setup for off the pace runner. So we'll take a chance with another mystery here when a two runners for trainer Chris block. For a second, I'm going to go with number nine, Santine, the likeliest winner of this race, in my opinion. Second start off the bench for trainer Brendan Walsh, got hammered at the windows and made the five to two top choice in the aforementioned grade three fairgrounds. Ran well, but finished in a four horse blanket finish that day. Going to take a lot of money again. Certainly makes some sense from off the pace, but not willing to swallow the chalk as the top selection. And then for third, I'm going to go with number four, Cavalry Charge. Was fortunate enough to have this one at a big price. Great ride by Brian Hernandez Jr. If he can make a lone lead again, he'll be tough, but I don't see it happening in here. I still think this horse, though, is going to run a big race in his third start of the form cycle. 794 for me in the Munez Memorial Classic, presented by Horse Racing Nation. Hey, yo, let's go. Mike Rennie here doing a little video with Horse Racing Nation, a little breakdown of race 10 at Fairgrounds Saturday, the Muniz Memorial, grade two, mile and eight, presented by Horse Racing Nation, man. I got a price pay. Let's get into this. Boom, jump right into it. Got the one horse here, Peacock Kitten. No, just too cheap for me. So a hard pass. Sacred Life, it's Sacred Life. I've played this horse plenty of times. Can it win? Yes, but today I'm fading this horse. Three horse. Uh, we got Dio Amani, uh, the other Chad Brown. Uh, I'm using this horse. Definitely like it. Look at the turf record, uh, 439 Tomlinson. You know, it's ran multiple hundreds. Uh, also ran at Monmouth. So, you know, with their whip rules and stuff, still fired 100 there. So that horse is definitely live of the Chad Browns to me. So I'll definitely have that one. Calvary charge here, uh, Dallas Stewart, buyer jump there. Could be live, uh, but I'm fading. I think there's just going to be too much pace in the race for him. Uh, then you got 40 under here. Uh, you got the maker, Mitch Morrell. You know, maker at the distance, I usually like, but I'm fading this time. I just think this has too much speed in the race. So we're just going to go against the, the maker here. And here's my horse, Captivating Moon. Coming from the clouds, ran a 93 off the layoff. I just like the setup of this race for it. Plays plenty of winners. Going to get a price here. Uh, I just think Alvarado's going to come from the clouds. He has another horse. This trainer has another horse in a race. But uh, we're going to captivate move from the clouds there for my horse in this race. And then another mystery. Uh, you know, that's the other trainer there. One last time out. I think that's just what it is. Kind of runs 292s there, 290s there. You can see the buyer. So I think uh, this is probably the peak there for another mystery. I think you got two Emmys here. Uh, might take some money. Maybe get bet down a little bit. But I think it's just peaked. Uh, so I'm fading two Emmys. I think you got uh, we got the nine here, uh, Satang. Uh, you know, you got the Godolphin owner, Godolphin breeder. I mean, you got to watch out. Look at the buyers going up like uh, it's no one's business. So this horse is definitely going to be live. Um, my ABC, I just went with the A as the six uh, as my price. And we're going to go with the Chad Brown there uh, as the, with the three. And uh, the and the nine here, Satan, is a little backup, but I'm thinking a price is coming here, and I think we can get it, man. Uh, let's have a good day. And on that, you know, we got to have the Don Julio. Woo! All right, Horse Race Nation, let's talk the Muniz Memorial. Uh, we've got a fantastic field here, and I think we've got a good race to use as our guide for how this race will, will unfold. That's the New Orleans Stakes that just happened here last month on Risen Star Day. So they went fast early, it's set up for closers, but Cavalry Charge was able to hang on for that win by just a nose, right? So I feel like we have our front runner, our best front runner in Cavalry Charge with 40 under and two Emmys also in this field. I think they're gonna go fast again. I think they're gonna send and then Cavalry Charge is gonna go hard. 
okay? I think it's gonna set up for a deep closer. So I'm interested in using Sacred Life um, heavily in this race. I feel like this is Sacred Life's race to win. It's gonna set up for that deep close. I think we have an excuse in the Gulfstream race last time, um, having to uh, put the brakes on in tight early and lose two links, but still just lost by two links at the end to Colonel Liam. I think Sacred Life shows the most ability watching those races back. And I feel like Sacred Life, uh, Chad Brown, uh, Florent Giroux, they don't team up often, but they could be a deadly combination here. All right, so I wanna use Sacred Life on top. And I wanna use Santine and Devamani. I think these two will be running mid-pack. They've shown great late kick. They've shown the ability to uh, uh, fight off bids, specifically Devamani. And Santine just has uh, just four races so far and has that ability to improve or that reason to step up to that next level. The second start as a four-year-old, Santine seems live in here too. So I wanna use those two. Also, another mystery. I feel like there could be just another good fairgrounds run from another mystery. A horse that can really move through the turns well, has a great stride when daylight is found and possibly could be game in here as well at a price. We might need a price looking at the late pick five. There are some favorites in here. So I wanna use two closers, Sacred Life and another mystery. I wanna use Cavalry Charge just in case he's able to repeat that performance. And I wanna use Santine and I wanna use Devamani. My A's, easy. Sacred Life, Santine. My B's, Devamani, Cavalry Charge. C, another mystery, and I'm out. All right, good luck getting through this late pick five. All stakes, guaranteed 500,000 pool. Good luck in the Munis. Hi everyone, this is Jeff Bessa from Charting Horse Value giving you some thoughts on the Muniz Memorial on Saturday, race 10. Yeah, I looked at it and I, I wanted to take a hard look at that fairgrounds race from February, the prep race. And in that race, Calvary Charge set a pretty slow pace on a turf course that's favoring horses on or close to the lead. Two Emmys stalked the pace. It did not run his best. And the favorite, Santine, was not able to close. I see a similar situation today. And uh, so I'm going back to Calvary Charge and two Emmys. I want to show you my chart. Now, this chart you can get on my website at www.chartinghorsevalue.com. And it's for free on Saturday, the entire Louisiana Day card. And what you'll notice here is two Emmys, second on my chart, at two Emmys best, two Emmys will beat Calvary Charge. The trainer is like 31% third off the layoff and is great in graded stakes. I think Graham knows this horse well, and the horse is going to improve today. And Calvary Charge is gonna, has a chance to set a slow pace again. Those are the two horses I want to use in serial wagers, and I'm betting two Emmys to win. Sacred Life, legitimate closer, seven-year-old Ridgeling from Chad Brown. And by the way, Devamani is an eight-year-old gelding. This is not Chad Brown's best horses. They're very beatable. They got a close from far back to win. If you want to take a better closer at a price, take this another mystery with Brian Hernandez up. I think that horse could potentially close for a piece. All right, those are my picks and my analysis. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Sarah Obad, we hear from Horse Racing Nation to discuss the Muniz Memorial Stakes presented by Horse Racing Nation. That's going to be coming up as race number 10 at the fairgrounds on this Saturday, March 26th. It's a grade two event for four-year-olds and up going a mile and an eighth on the turf. My topic is a little bit of a price in here in the number four cavalry charge. This horse is 10 to one on the morning line. Gets jockey Brian Hernandez Jr. and going out for trainer Dallas Stewart. He did already wire the field last time out at a bit of a price, 35 to one that day is the inside speed in the grade three fairground stakes over horses like two Emmys, Captivating Moon, Santine, and 40 Under that are all going to be reappearing in this race. And I think that he gets a similar setup. He could be in front of those horses, as he's shown already, may set the pace and just wire the field again. The horses that do look like legitimate challengers, they're all a little bit pace compromised in that they're all closers. And that's going to be including your number two, Sacred Life, and number three, Devamani, going out for Chad Brown. Those horses are going to take a lot of money, and I don't think it's going to set up quite so favorably for them. If there was going to be a hot pace, I would be looking to the number seven horse and another mystery, Dead Heat winner last time out at Sam Houston. But I think things are going to just be a repeat performance for Cavalry Charging here, and I'm hoping his odds increase as well.